Hello folks and welcome back to Tactical Breach Wizards, where last time we did the first stage, I guess, the first... Well, we did the little mini-tutorial in the first whole stage, where Jen and Zen are currently trying to break out of um, our CPD, um, because Zan's former CO in the, in, the, in the Magic Navy Seals is now uh, evil and is attacking things. Um, he's clairvoyant, and you are a witch. And you are a PI. Zan is a PI, failed PI basically. And on the way out, Jen wants to go past the, the, the jail to talk to the suspect in the murder case that she's trying to solve. Anyway, hi, me again. I don't know if you heard, this station is currently being raided by a Spec Ops team, one of whom can't transcend time. Right, and much of it is on fire. If you tell me why you shot Rexler, I can get it out of here even before more of it is on fire. How? Well, obviously I'd go through the appropriate legal channels, but with the right lawyer it could take, it could be under six months. And if I don't satisfy your curiosity, you leave me here to die? Classy. <laughs> Fine. If you don't tell me, we'll still save you, or our hearts won't be in it. The quality of the rescue may suffer. mind. Um, what the hell just happened? I think you just met Liv Kennedy. I didn't love it. Oh yeah, all the, all the slow fold, um, all the slow fall officers. They don't, they never die if you get thrown out of windows. <laughs> You're not with Zan Vesker? Complete. Escape Rushwater PD alive? Complete. Avoid any long-term consequences? Uh... Are they gonna hit the ground? Ooh, into the dirt. They're gonna hit the ground. Come on, hit the ground, hit the ground, hit the ground. Come on, you're, like, you're moving fast enough that you could actually hit the ground. Come on. Like, you're moving so slowly it might... You can outweigh him. I love that you just pulled out a book and, like... When you're too away from the ground, is it the closer you are to the ground, the slower you fall? Nah, you slow, you stop now. See, they've all stopped now. Cowards! Okay, I'm a lot more invest interested in your case now. Who is Banks, and why did the best spec ops team on the planet just assault a police station just to abduct her? That's a Banks. I caught a glimpse at her police file. They have her pegged as a mob doc for the Druid Mafia. Which is relevant because you were attacking the Druid Mafia in the, in the tutorial. When I found her, she just shot her patient in the head with a 45. If she's not mob, she's definitely missed a pivotal day in med school. So why would Liv Kennedy want her? Was she an especially good doctor? I guess it's possible she's a great doctor, and shooting her patient in the head before surgery was just a kind of power move. Your turn. What's the story with you and Liv? We ran an extraction on a Druid Mafia smuggling ship back in 89. She got snared just as they were about to execute the hostage. I had to choose. I chose the hostage. For years I thought I'd got her killed. Then six months ago she resurfaces, pulling brutal heists for a PMC. I don't know what she's trying to achieve, but I know that I failed her back in 89. If there's somewhere I can talk her down from this, I have to try. Who is Liv Kennedy? She was my commander in the Navy Special Forces. She's a chronomancer. She can move on a different time scale to the rest of us. You're dead before you know she's coming for you. That seems overpowered. I served with her for five years on some nightmare clusterfucks, and I think Liv may be the most dangerous single competitor on this planet. Everyone who saw her work said it sooner or later. I'm glad she's on our side. Well, now she's not. Now she works for a reactor. Reactor or private military, right? Who's hiring them this time? Private, but huge. The ninth strongest military in the world, last I heard. If you'd asked me yesterday, I would have said they, they are the DSR military by another name. But if they're sending Liv Kennedy to kill cops on DSR soil, something massive has changed and I have no idea why. If she's gone off book, we're all looking at a god-tier operative becoming a serial killer with an unknown agenda. And if not? If today was a reactor authorized op, 
This could light the fuse for World War V. This whole geopolitical landscape of the Southern Hemisphere is going to lurch in ways I can't even predict. Even I can't predict. And I'm a seer. Okay, we do need to make some files. I have a map. We can work with that. Perks. Spend each character's perk points. You gotta level up. Okay, so... Point blank. Plus two knockback if you use a point blank range. Plus one target. You can target one enemies each time you cast. With the same mana cost, you can still choose to target fewer if needed. And plus two knockback to the final target. It becomes four point blank at, at, at point blank range. Four knockback at point blank range. So you have plus one damage, it gives you two damage on the three ball burst. And conviction, if the shot knocks someone out, it can be used again this turn. Validation, if the shot fires on your turn, gain plus one mana. Uh, freelance Witch, Navy Seer. Okay, we're gonna go for, uh, for point blank. Make your regular attack better. Confirm. Missions, out outfits. Freelance wish equipped. Desert detachment, five. Confidence level. You already need to own all these outfits, but it takes confidence to pull them off. You can re you, you already own all these outfits, but it takes confidence to pull them off. You can replay old levels with new perks to get confidence goals you missed. So desert detachment, jungle tracker, whiz tack, private eye, east point knights, whale witch. Desert Camel, Dark Arts, Hedge Wizard, Wiztack, Urban Arcanist, Full Leather Jacket, Blackout. I mean, I'll be honest, Wiztack is the coolest of the lot, I think. Maybe Hedge Wizard. These are a bit crap, to be honest. Yeah, anyway. Um, missions. Okay, so we did Act 1, we did the Asset, which is the Tutorial, and Rushwater Reunion. Here you can replay previous levels with your new perks, choosing your team freely this time, including wizards you didn't have at the time. You can gain confidence points for any goals you missed before, but repeating confidence goals doesn't give extra points. Okay, so this is just the, the, the pick mission. This mission can't be replayed. Predictive predicament, back for banks. Confidence. Okay, we'll move on and see what happens next. A lovely condo, 48 minutes away. This is your safe house? It's cute. Well, it's my mom's place. She's at bingo. All right, well, here's what we need. Your map, a printer, some thumbtanks, and like 40 meters of red string. She actually might be the only person I know who has that combination of items lying around. I like her already. Let's get to it. So how does this work? You drag the string between us to prove we're friends? Okay, so the uh, details. Jane Kellen, freelance storm witch. Likes complicated cases, good filing systems, skills of every kind, my cat Daryl, not mutual. His likes, Steve Clark, the traffic warlock. The Rushwater police, loose ends. Hobbies, scrying, crying, interrogating Daryl when he does a crime. I hate writing bios. I'm a storm witch, a private investigator, and a legal guardian to one emotionally distant cat. For the last three years, I've been finding missing people for the cops couldn't or wouldn't. But it doesn't pay well, and work is drying up in... Ah, oh, shit, these notes are smaller than I realized. Uh, Zan's thing sounds serious, and I think I should can help, so off I go. Ask Zan for his input? It was Kennedy's new team that hit the Rushwater station. Okay, okay, so zoom out. Likes naval history, Mars sparse apricots, friends succeeding, assault staves. Dislikes memory tests, decisions, dairy, being asked about his dislikes. Hobbies, providing emotional support, providing fire support, backgammon. What the hell, Jen? Dan is extremely, extremely old. <laughs> He's a retired special forces operative who can see the future. Actually, he can only see one second into the future, but in a breach and clear operation, that's a big deal. Zan used to serve under Liv Kennedy in the DSR Navy until she was lost in action. 
Now that she's back with a Von Unknown agenda, Zan worries he might be the only one who knows how dangerous she is or how to counteract her power. He's probably overblowing it, though. Alright, served under. Liv Kennedy, Black Ops Chronomancer. Likes acting quickly, acting decisively, acting like a prick. Weakness, dislikes, weakness, slowness, stourness. Town in Norland. Hobbies, dodgeball, don't play her at this. Bloody Knuckles, don't play her at this. 100 meter sprint, don't race her at this. Liv was the DSR's Navy's star covered operative. She's able to move on a different time scale to the rest of us, rendering her actions effectively instantaneous. It's absolute bullshit. She vanished on our last official up with Zan and disappeared for two years. Now she's back with a team of special forces wizards cutting a bloody path through the powder keg of southern eastern geopolitics like a bull in a house of cards. And then let, she led strike on the Rushwater PD. A team of special forces wizards led by Liv Kennedy breached the Rushwater Police Department, killing 14 and busting out a prisoner, Dessa Banks. Zan arrived hot on their trail, arguably too hot, the cops assumed he was part of it. I heroically rescued him. Too much, Jen. Too much, Jen. And we got out alive, but we're not popular in the DSR right now. Okay, so Dessa Banks, unknown. Mob doctor? We're not sure. I walked in on Banks right after she shot the mobster I was tracking, Jiren Wexler. According to her file, she used to be a surgeon at Rushwater General, but dropped off the grid a year ago and is one of mob doctor for the Druid Mafia. Now Liv Kennedy has abducted her at massive risk, and we're all left panicking about what she knows about Banks that we don't. Reactor. Elite paramilitary outfit. One of the biggest and by far the most effective pirate military outfit in the world. For years, reactors have done the DSR's dirty work, but now that they've hit a police station on Rushwater soil, they've bitten the hand that feeds them and are allowed and swallowed it whole. All bets are off. Employs you. Abducted you. Hey, that all makes sense to me. No rush if you want to rearrange or go over the details though. Can I move you around? I can. Okay, so we'll move... You're kind, of cent you're kind of central right now, so... We're... Okay, big map. Um... I can't move Rushwater because that's, that's a fixed location. Dessa can move around, Reactor can move around. Okay, okay. So perks, map, missions, outfits, move on. It re- it re- okay, it resets, never mind. Okay, so you have no idea why Liv took Banks. At this point, I'd settled for where she took Banks. Oh, I can answer that. Seriously? Give me six Newt Bones and a vial of her blood and I can scry locations into within three meters. Okay, Newt Bones sounds doable. Yeah, I've got an arrangement with the pet shop downtown. But how do we get a hold of her blood? The cops would have taken it when they booked her, part of a standard DNA log. It'll be at the evidence lockup in Stonecliff. And is that guarded? Heavily. But I know a guy there who owes me. I helped him find his skink last June. As long as they haven't heard about the clusterfuck at Rushwater yet, I bet I can just ask him. <laughs> Stonecliff, evidence lockup, where Jen knows a guy. Jen, I think they heard about the Rushwater thing. Now if they get efficient? Knock out all enemies, five left. These are optional extra goals that boost the wizard's confidence. In life, confidence is the only needed to wear more daring outfits. <laughs> As in life. Confidence is only needed to wear more daring outfits. Try for them, but don't stress it. You can always come back to get them later with any perks you've unlocked. They vary each level. Mouse over them to find out what they are this time. Let's have a look around. Zan. Finish with all team members at full health and defenestrate two hostiles with one gale grenade. There's no def oh, there's defenestration here. Okay, so a gale grenade. One use per encounter. Knocks back all adjacent targets. One use per battle. I should put it there. That would work. Okay. So, let's think about this. Nope. I should rewind that because I was misclicked that one horribly. Um... I can lock you into that and then knock you back that way. Move over there. Gill grenade over there.
three volt burst you. Move over here. Grab intel, which gives you mana. Well, you don't need mana, do you? No, you don't need mana. Because mana is only used by you. Confidence goals. So we did Jen. We did Zan Jen's, and Zan's gonna do that. Yeah. Okay, so. So you need mana. Although, can I go. If I go here, and I do Static Blast. Go over here. We will burst you. Damn it. Okay. Well, see the door. Static blast you. Done. Yay, good confidence completed. Nice. It was not efficient, though. Never mind. Great. All right, what are we looking for? A blue folder. Her blood's in a blue folder? No, but her file will tell us where they're storing it. Okay, so just grab every blue file I see? Yep. Unless your time brain lets you read them instantly or something. I can do one second of reading, one second sooner than I otherwise would. That doesn't sound like it's going to do it. No. Breach? Breach. Grenadier Monoceros. Launches grenades that exploded in the 4C phase. Okay, let's see about this then. Let a single teammate perform two actions in one turn. A new ability, Time Boost. Gives an ally an extra action. And then... Deal with all enemies by the end of turn. Well, hello. What? Deal with all enemies by the end of turn one. How? Like, I can do two of them. No, actually, we might be able to do this, okay. Actually, does that count as an action? It counts, doesn't count as an action, but count, okay. So. Okay, so I'm gonna move Jen over there. Breach. Breach. Okay. So you can move over here. If you go from if you go to chain bolt, you can't chain bolt there. Given that the line of sight. Um Being the mana, chain bolts. Okay, that doesn't know it. Rewind. Move to there. All right, so now chain bolt there and there. Oh, you're you're in cover. That's why it's going to cause issues. Uh, okay, never mind. Yes. Grab the intel. 
If you move to here... You can do that. The time moves to you. Can you move again? You can't move again. That's the problem. The problem is you can't move again. If you could move again, that would be a different story. Yeah. Let me show you something. Rewind a bit. Can you get through the door? No, you can't even get. You can't even get to the door this turn. Damn. Yeah, I'm gonna do this. Yeah, it's, it's not gonna do much for you right now. So, switch to you. can't do uh, gens this turn, I don't think. Um, but I can probably do zans. Gen move here. Can you chain bolt into you? That takes care of those two. Grab the intel. Move to here. Oh, rewind, because you need to be able to time boost you. Move to here. Time boost you. Grab the intel. Can you... Okay, no, whoa, 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 hold the phone. Huh, no way, okay, that's something. Zanz, we did that one, good. Zan has no way to hit that one, I don't think. That goes there. You can hit that one, you can hit that one there, but it's irrelevant. Yeah, damn. <sighs> yeah, this could be done if I had the way, if I had the, the perk that, like, that gave her a triple target, because she could go like hit there, hit there, hit that one, and that would get all three of them in a single attack. Yeah. We can come back and do this. We'll do a time boost there. Yeah. Time boost on you. Got the intel. You're gonna do another chain bolt, you and you. Which gives Zan's action. And the off chance that that works. Uh, everyone's done their own thing? Yeah, okay. End the turn. Good. Um... You have another mana for this, unfortunately. Um, static blast. Seal the door. First of all, chain bolts. There you go. Seal that door. Done. 
Unfortunately, nope. Just because if I had the triple attack, it would have been... I can come back and do that, no problem. Where are you going? Both these overpasses lead to the next building. We can do it in tandem. Okay, but you get shot the moment you walk through that door. Oh, good note. Let me breach first. I can take care of it from, from my side. Yeah, because you got that. Okay, so you're going to breach that one. Breach here. Three bolt burst on you. You breach there. You're going to get there. And you're going to use the laptop. So this is you get to cause predictable to fire before the 4C phase. And defense rate three hostiles in one turn. No. Cancel that. Again, the, the, the triple target would have worked better, I think, because you can do this and that. somehow to make it come this way, but that's not looking like Lee, unfortunately. Okay. boost you. Wait. Time boost you. Grab the intel. Alright. You need mana, don't you? But I missed the, I missed the chance to pick up that mana, so that's not going to be great. Yeah, hang on. Can we reset, reset the level? Because that went, that went badly. Skip, the, skip that. Good. So if you burst this, so breach here, bolst this guy there. Uh, let's think about this. Then you're gonna go. You're gonna breach there. Move over there. You're gonna use the laptop. Slam that guy back there. Three defenders in one turn. Which does work, I think, because now, now we move you up here. Give you the give you the time boost. Which gives you the chance to defenestrate these two. There you go. 
that's that one done. What's Zan's this turn? It is Cold Spirit to fire before the end? Yeah, we can do that easily, I think. If everything's done, everything's done. Next turn. Okay. So, you move there. Breach here. There's no real reason to do that, I think. Uh, okay. Right, there is, actually. And breach there. Static Blast. Can I Gale... I can't Gale Grenade you back this way, can I? Nope. Okay, fine. Okay, so you're gonna go over there. Grab the intel. Breach. Knock them down. Walk over here, grab that intel. And just have to wait this turn, I think. Now they both get ready to breach. Right. Now. You have no mana, so you can't do your chain bolts. So we're gonna breach here. You're gonna breach here. Over here. Okay, that's that's net, that's a problem. So you're gonna go over. Here. Shoot this guy. Move up to here. Can you? Yes, you can. Clear you out. Time boost you. Right. Gotta do that. Gotta do that door there. But I want to see if I can trigger that predicted bolt to fire on this turn. No one can move anymore. No, okay. Right. Okay. So. I go over here. Can I push you back? Can I push you into the wall? Okay, never mind. I rewind. I can gale grenade. All right, I can, okay, so you're gonna move over here. Take the bolt there. If I go, if I do a gale grenade here, that, that triggers that. Brilliant. Go over there. Seal the door. He's locked up. Zone three of three. Yay. Let's see here. Found Banks. She was between Jibba and Hiddle's bottom, logically. We've all found ourselves there. This is her blood samples in Fridge 5, Room 304. So one floor up? Great. Let's go. You brought the Newt Bones? I don't leave the house without 6 to 20 Newt Bones. Okay, so where is she? She is... about 100 meters east. Did you perform the spell 100 times too small? Nope. She's in the next building. And what's that? Controlled substances, I think. Why would they break her out of one police station just to take her to another? I don't know. Wanna go find out? After our reliance on the crown crystals? Yes. Steve, you're sure this is every gram of blue you have? Yep. Every seizure in the DSR ends up here. That's a traffic warlock! Alright, Bari, light it up. All will burn! In a very mild fire. It is not mild fire. That's a total misnomer. I should not have take I should not have to take this from a traffic cop. I'm a traffic warlock, you failed arsonist. I'd like to see you untangle the M6 spaghetti junction with some lukewarm flames. Lukewarm? Much as I'd love to hear where this clash of the intellectual titans goes, we have a ride to catch. 
Steve, stick around and make sure your cop pals didn't put this out. Bori, bring banks. Well, that exchange raised a lot more questions than it answered. That was the fire guy I was telling you about. Oh, right, I do remember him now. So when I said fire guy earlier, you didn't think of the guy you know who's permanently on fire? You'll meet a lot of colorful characters in this line of work. Aren't you unemployed? That's what I mean. So who is he? Bori Kesh, the less lethal pyromancer. I... How does that work? I think his flames are, are like quite hot, but not fire hot, you know? Like you can't go on about your day, but it's more of an aloe vera situation than an impromptu cremation. Is Liv's team, is Liv's team burning mana? Why? He sniffs. Not for the smell, I'm guessing. Why do the Washwater PD even have this much mana? A street value of this must be billions. It's supposed to be destroyed all at the end of every month. Maybe Defense told them to. I've heard of states stockpiling on the QT. No one has a military use for it yet, but they're all scared someone's going to find one. You look like you want to ask something. Who's the guy in the Dayglo robe? <sighs> That's Steve. Steve Clark, Traffic Warlock. I keep running into him on in my cases and I always forget what a slimy prick he truly is. Wow, Jen! Shit. Get fucked, Steve! Can we take him? How good are you at dodging spectral cars filled with skeleton ghosts? Never made it past regionals. Let's see if that cuts it. Wow, Jen! <laughs> I guess we'll do this next time, folks. See you then. Bye-bye.